Okay, start by downloading the Shutterfly app if you don't have it already, and then click on the bright orange app to open. And then if you have not logged in, you'll need to log in. So I'm not signed in, I need to sign in. So then you would type in your grade level. I'm going to be uploading for class of 2023. So I will do that and you can refer to the sheet posted on our homepage or in the newsletter. And then put in the password, which I already have it programmed, so I'm just going to use that. Then click sign in. So now I know I'm on the right page. I click upload at the bottom. Go to recent photos, and on your phone you may have to give the app permission to access your photos. That's pretty standard, so you may have to do that first. But once you do that, you can go to recent. And then you scroll down to the photo that you want to upload, photo or photos that you want to upload. For me, it's just going to be this one right here. Sorry about that. So you mark it so that you get the orange check and then just click upload at the upper right hand corner. Now you wanna to upload to an album. So add to album, and then you're gonna get all these choices. So for class of 2023, this year is their 10th grade year, so I'm going to select that. This will be different depending on what grade your daughter is in this year, or if you're uploading past pictures, what grade the pictures are from. So once you get the S on that picture, you know that it's uploaded despite the fact that the upper right is still spinning. So if you notice the photo that I selected has uh, the Shutterfly S on it, so I know it is complete. And then when you're done with that, you can just hit the arrow on the upper left to go back and um, go to photos and go to albums and if you click 10th grade there's the picture that i uploaded that's it easy peasy